Good morning, Prut. Oh, good morning, Timo. And Are you how... coming surfing with me? I will, but that, that can wait. I just got a few questions to ask you first. But first, how are you doing this morning? Very good. Sweet. How are you? I'm pretty awesome, thanks. Amazing. Well, okay. Are we going now? Yes, we're going right now. All right, so I got some questions for you if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm ready. Right. Hey, so, Luna. Luna. And we got some company while we're at it as well. Luna the one to go to the beach. Okay. She'll come along. <laughs> All right, then, Kruitz. So, what made you decide to run a hostel? Ah, oh, baby Luna. Um, so I think it's every traveler's dream to run the hostel. So kind of like when I was young, I thought like, oh my God, it's so cool to have a hostel. And that's why. Sweet, awesome. And any, any other examples of what kind of business both of you had in mind? So we went to, to the hostel and later on the restaurant. Yep. Yeah. Cool, awesome. And how long did it take for you and Romina to decide on running a hostel slash restaurant? So actually it was pretty fast. I think from the idea that we were talking about it, it took only six months. Awesome. And where did you yeah. take inspiration from? Uh, so the inspiration... Hey, I was working in like um, hostels in Costa Rica, yep. in Central America, and yep. Europe, so that's why. Sweet. And what made you choose Surfing Wombats as a name? And who came up with it? Honest answer. So actually, uh, the name... We have to take it off from the road, maybe. <laughs> 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 So uh, my friend then um, Peter uh, was obsessed about this name and then me and Romina we met in Australia and then it just came from there. Oh sweet, yeah. good. Okay, so what made you decide to travel though in the first place? To travel? Uh, when I was young I never planned to travel, it yeah. just came. It yeah. just came and I really wanted to travel. Like I started traveling and then I just traveled. Yeah. <laughs> So it's just like a spur of a moment kind of thing? Yeah. <laughs> there you go, best way. Favorite moment while traveling? Opening the hostel. Ah, so the Yeah, <laughs> might have guessed. Favorite country you've ever visited so far? Uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah. And favorite food while traveling? Ooh, I really, I, I really, <laughs> Koto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now this one is a tough one. Most embarrassing moment while traveling. Wow, my whole life is one big embarrassment. Yeah. <laughs> was it always your intention to run a business after travel? We're going to go surfing. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we need to get going. Yeah, well, what's the question? Was it always your intention to run a business after traveling? Mm, actually, I really wanted to marry a rich husband, <laughs> but then I went to Instagram and I saw a hashtag, woman empowerment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> And were there any other countries you thought about starting the hostel slash restaurant in? I really love the Central America and I also I'm obsessed about Portugal. I really love Portugal. Yeah, yeah. don't blame me there. But why should I go in the end? And because it has everything. It has good climate, it has beaches, it's, it's amazing. Couldn't agree more. What made you fall in love with surfing? Uh, I think it's the best sport that you can do. You always progress, you feel so free. It's always so challenging and it's a lot of adrenaline as well. Again, couldn't agree more. So what do you love the most about Sri Lanka? So what I love the most about Sri Lanka is you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Other interests other than surfing? Um, oh, I do have a lot of hobbies. I like everything water related, sailing, wakeboarding, I play chess. Yeah, that. don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> I like to party with my friends, yeah, yep. everything. And we're going to put you on the spot a little bit now. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good a surfer are you? So I think some days I'm like solid 1, and some <laughs> days I'm, I'm solid 8. Oh, you're way too harsh, way too harsh. <laughs> so what do you love the most about surfing in Sri Lanka? About surfing in Sri Lanka? Yes. Ooh, uh, the waves. Come on, guys. Like, there's so many waves here in Sri Lanka, and you can choose this spot, and you can see that I can walk yep. from my place to the yep. Cool. And were there any doubts before starting Wombats? And if so, how did you deal with them? Yeah, of course, you're always like worried about what's happening and like, is it going to work and everything. But, you know, like, you just need to suck it up and do it. <laughs> right. And most difficult part of running Wombats? 
beautiful parties uh, uh, when there's no guests <laughs> <laughs> and it's and it's the middle of pandemic. Yeah. It's kind of hard to manage the cash flow. <laughs> yeah. Well, you seem to be doing okay considering them. All right. Then what's the most annoying part of running the hostel? very sad when people leave, especially when you get connected with somebody yeah. and it's really harsh. Couldn't agree more. And your favorite part of running the hostel? Um, I think like to make people happy, in general, it's super cool. Uh, that like so many people, <laughs> so many people have said, oh my god, like, like it has changed, <laughs> I've changed the life. You can see people actually making genuine connections and being like super happy. I love the feeling. Okay, and why did you choose a pizza slash Italian style restaurant? So because nobody wants to eat Estonian food. <laughs> <laughs> and if it wasn't pizza, what other style of cuisine would you have in the restaurant? Uh, I think Mexican food. Yeah. I want to do Mexican restaurant because I love Mexican. Sweet. And why no Estonian meals? Oh, it's coming, it's coming, big restaurant, Estonian food, potato. It better be, it better be. So how do you deal with awkward customers? Um, just being awkward myself. <laughs> <laughs> and, whoa, this big one. Any sports person or celebrity you'd like to have as your guest? Um, Kelly Slater will be good. Yep. And who is your celebrity crush? Ashton Kutcher. Oh, okay. So hot. <laughs> Blondes or brunettes? Doesn't really matter, but it has to be funny. <laughs> Any musical instrument you'd be interested in learning? Violin. Well, don't blame you. If you were to run any other type of business, what would it be? Um, I would like oh, probably some kind of a tech startup or manufacturing. Really into manufacturing at yeah. the moment. Cool. And if you have to pick up another animal for your name or logo, what would it be? It would be my cat, Mr. T. She's amazing. Super amazing. Have you, have you ever thought? Have you ever thought about getting a wombat tattooed on you? And if so, where would you have it? Yeah, uh, Romina is pushing me hard to get the tattoo. Yeah. It would be in a secret spot. Yeah. Do you think you're going to give in to the temptation? And who is the boss between the two of you? Romina is definitely Romina, sorry. Romina is definitely boss in um, kitchen, and I am um, I am more boss in maybe eating. Okay. And any aims to expand the business? Uh, there's always there's so, always so many plans, and um, we're working on it. Actually, we opened the restaurant in. Mirissa already as well. Yeah. Cool. And the final question before we let you go surfing. Yeah, There's nobody out there. there. So cool. Before you get out then, what tips can you give many travelers or backpackers who are thinking of running a hostel? I think in general people are so afraid to fail and they don't follow what they really want to do. So I would just go for it. Even if it doesn't work out. Awesome. <laughs> Good, awesome stuff. Well, we'll let you go at it, group. But thank you so much for, you, for answering the questions today. Have an amazing surf.